I want to talk about the trap of the spiritual ego. It's something that I see quite a lot in the spiritual world, like more often than not, which is really sad. But unfortunately, like the like what obviously all what all spiritual beings have in a human experience. Um but a lot of people they claim to be on the spiritual path, but really they're just in the ego because spirituality tends to attract people who have quite a big ego anyway like quite narcissistic people who they just they think like being spiritual makes them better than everyone else kind of thing um and the thing that prompted us to make this video is because i met someone yesterday who claimed to be like on the spiritual path and i just got a bit of a funny feeling from them like from the minute that i like met them and started talking to them and obviously I always give people the benefit of the doubt but I do really try to trust me gut now because I never used to I would just like brush things off and ignore it and end up being proven right um so I always just go with my gut feeling now and have my guard up but I still like to try and give people a chance um but yeah, anyway this person <laughs> might as well have just said like <laughs> I'm so enlightened and like um, I do this I do that and it sort of felt like they were looking down on other people um and if you're so enlightened you wouldn't you wouldn't have to like you wouldn't say that like if you think that you're enlightened you really not <laughs> you're not as far on your spiritual path as what you think you are um I mean they didn't say that but they might as well they might as well have said that um but anyway I just we're all I just want to say like we're all like part of the spiritual journey is like it's like taming the ego so a lot of spiritual people say like oh my ego is dissolved I have no ego anymore but that's just like a load of rubbish in my opinion because we need the ego the ego was here to protect us and if we didn't have an ego we'd have like no we'd have no motivation to do anything we'd just be sat like staring into space and it's just yeah it doesn't make sense to me I just think I think when you're like genuinely on the spiritual path and you're doing the, the inner work and you are like being authentic um your ego just becomes more evolved you end up having like a more evolved ego um like a more conscious more conscious ego um yeah i don't believe that that you can just totally get rid of your ego because we need it like i say um, would have like no personality without the ego so like part of being on the spiritual path is like obviously you're gonna have times where you do fall into like the spiritual ego and you think that you're better than other people because they're not on the spiritual path um but you, it's just about being self-aware and reminding yourself like catching yourself when you're having these thoughts and reminding yourself that like no you're not better like everyone's on their own journey and we can't all be like at the same level um we can't all be like in the same place on our journey um because we're just we're just all be like stuck and stagnant we're here to learn from each other and we couldn't learn from each other if we were all like in the same place all on the same level or like just like in the same place on our spiritual journey um so i think yeah the spiritual path is just about becoming like your true authentic self and learning to like accept the parts of yourself that might not be so positive um the things that you don't really like about yourself the traits that aren't that great um but it's not about judging yourself either it's like being aware of it and accepting it but then like working on trying to better that without like shaming yourself and feeling bad because nobody's perfect like we're never going to be perfect and I think like we all need to accept that as well like it's like life's about living um and really we're just here to enjoy life and have fun 